I haven't done a video on Mask of the Phantasm yet. And last night I was laying in bed and I saw a vision of the Phantasm. And the Phantasm said, Your angel of death awaits. And I knew I had to do a video on this movie. That's not at all how it happened. But I'm really glad. I was like, I, it dawned on me. I was like, I've never done a video on Mask of the Phantasm. This needs to change. So let's do that. Batman Mask of the Phantasm. So Batman Mask of the Phantasm came out, I believe in 1993, around there anyway. Look, I saw the trailer on the VHS of Free Willy, so it was around there. And it was a theatrically released movie, which is funny because it's, it's this underrated Batman movie that, underrated in the sense of, it's overlooked a lot of times when people think about the Batman movies. Like when they think about Batman movies, it's like Burton, Schumacher, and Nolan. But in between Burton and Schumacher is this little gem called Batman Mask of the Phantasm. So I suppose it's underrated in that sense, but most Batman fans are always like, yeah, Mask of the Phantasm, one of the best Batman movies out there. And it is quite a hidden gem. So the plot is, it is in the vein of Batman the Animated Series, and there's this new player in Gotham, the Phantasm, who's never actually called the Phantasm in the movie, but... I digress. For the sake of us, we call the Phantasm the Phantasm. Looks like a Phantasm, so why not? And the Phantasm is offing gangsters in Gotham. I want you, Chucky boy. And I remember thinking like, oh, Phantasm, this new Batman villain. And even when I walked out of the movie, I was young, and I was like, oh, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, and Phantasm was the new villain. And although Phantasm is a great iconic new character, I mean, instant classic character, among Batman, I'm baffled that Phantasm's not used more. But Phantasm's not a villain. It's not like Phantasm's going around and like, messing with innocent people. Phantasm's like Batman, only <laughs> Batman was like, let's just kill him, get it over with. And once I realized that after the first time I saw Mask of the Phantasm, it, it just made the plot better. It just made F Mask of the Phantasm more complex. Take a shot every time I say Phantasm. Are you dead yet? I'm sorry. And I love how Bruce Wayne's a really conflicted guy in that. There's this scene. This is actually the most conflicted I've ever seen Bruce Wayne in any of the movies. Like, he's always had that, you know, like, I can give up the cape and cowl if it means Rachel Doss will be with me. Did you mean it? You know, he's always been like, I'll drop the cape and cowl if you'll be with me, Rachel Doss. No, uh, she got blown up. I guess I'll take Catwoman. So Bruce Wayne struggling with Batman, you know, we've seen that, yes. But is any of it executed as well? Is that scene in Mask of the Phantasm where Bruce Wayne is just crying at his parents' grave, asking them for permission to go back on this promise that he made them. He's like, I didn't expect to be happy, but I'm happy, is, isn't that okay? It's nuts, it just, it reminds me, there was this philosopher on an airplane and he kind of assessed a passenger who was on the plane with him and he said, Moments of levity actually cause him pain. That is what I thought of when I saw this scene before doing this video. It's, <laughs> it's good shit. And Mask of the Phantasm actually does a really good job at balancing all the cogs in this machine in this hour and 15 minute long movie. Explaining it, I would you would swear they needed more time to fit it all in, but they somehow fit it. Seeing Bruce Wayne become Batman, this backstory love story in which he's conflicted with being Batman and he wants to be with this person, you know he can't have both. This phantasm who's offing mobsters, people think it's Batman. Then, amongst all of it, thrown into the mix is the Joker. Which they could have just thrown in because it's the Joker and it's a Batman animated movie and you kind of need the Joker because it's the Joker. Dude is the star of the highest grossing rated R film of all time. Granted, Mask of the Phantasm was decades before that. But it just goes to show having Joker on screen is usually not a bad thing. But he's not just thrown in here for the sake of having the Joker in an animated movie. He's actually a very important cog in this machine. And he brings the kind of chaos and unpredictable nature you want the Joker to bring into a movie like this. Just when you think you figured out the structure of Mask of the Phantasm, the Joker comes in, voiced by the legendary Mark Hamill to shake it the fuck up. And there's actually a pretty epic reveal in this movie coupled with the Joker's laugh that just chilled me to the bone when I was a kid. Actually, it still gives me chills now when I'm talking about it. It's so good. And it, this plot is complex. This is definitely the most complex Batman movie up until it came out, and definitely up until Nolan took over. And even then, there's a lot of things that the Dark Knight gets all the shine for 
The Mask of the Phantasm actually did first. Like Batman Begins, we see Batman's origin. Mask of the Phantasm was actually the first time on the big screen we saw Batman origin story. We saw Bruce Wayne become Batman in these flashbacks. We actually see where he gets the inspiration from the Batmobile. And you see he's frustrated, like they weren't afraid of me. They need to be afraid of me. And you see how he becomes Batman and why he becomes Batman. You know, the Dark Knight gets all the shine for being the Batman mob drama. Mask of the Phantasm was that first. You can say that the Dark Knight goes deeper into it and you know, it does because of the time allowed. I suppose that is a thing to address as much as they use the time they have to its fullest. It's still an hour and 15 minutes and they have a lot of plot in there and it all works. But there are a couple moments where it's like, ooh, intrigue. Okay, you just gave me the answer about the Phantasm thing. Okay. If this movie was a full two hour long movie or as long as the Dark Knight, I can only imagine what they could have done with it. But for the time they had, they totally used it well. I will say one of my gripes is Sometimes the visuals, I mean, the animation is more refined than Batman the Animated Series. Not that Batman the Animated Series is bad. It's one of the, it's the greatest animated series of all time, in my opinion. But I bought the series of Batman the Animated Series on Blu-ray and it had Mask of the Phantasm the Blu-ray in there. And sometimes it's crystal clear and sometimes it's just fuzzier and you're like, oh, that's weirdly fuzzy. Then the next scene it's clear and you're like, I don't know why. One of the gripes I've heard, I haven't heard it a lot, but I have heard it in whispers and comments out there, is the fact that this feels like basically a longer episode of Batman the Animated Series. But I don't think that is showing a lack of quality with Mask of the Phantasm. I think that just shows the quality of Batman the Animated Series. And this movie is just an epic one. It has heart, it has emotion, it has the feels, it has depth in a way that you want to see from a Batman movie. It's a compelling Bruce Wayne drama as well as an epic Batman story. And it's Phantasm's tragedy. Phantasm is a tragic character, but it never ceases to be Batman's movie. Mask of the Phantasm just has enough room for everyone to thrive and shine on, in an hour and 15 minutes. It's gotta be the best time management I've ever seen in a movie. Batman Mask of the Phantasm has aged like a fine wine and it is. Awesome-tacular. Your angel of death awaits. Such an epic phrase. All right, so Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? It's on Netflix right now, so check it out. If you haven't seen it in years, it's been a few years since I've seen it, and I just got more out of it this time, surprisingly so. But whatever you think of it, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.